Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Corey with Skinny Fat Duck and we are hopping right back in here with our playthrough of Chicken Police. Paint it red. I'm going to talk to everybody in here one more time. Hey, big just to make sure that we've Where did Mr. moved everything. Go? Unfortunately, I don't switch. know, big face, but I wouldn't tell you even if I did. Really? Say, did anyone ever tell you that you're an irritating piece of sh... <clears throat> uh, anything else, dear sirs? All right. So, have you talked to Natasha? In fact, yes. She was, uh, kind of mysterious. I bet she was. You know... I've never abandoned a case before. Not voluntarily, anyway. But that woman... You're, uh, too old for this shit, huh? <laughs> As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this and examine it closely. What is it? The reason I've decided all of this is not worth it for me. Wow, that sounds encouraging. Take care of yourselves, guys. This case... Maybe it goes deeper than you'd think. Oh, that makes my so much more intrigued. On end. Ah, old croakers, you're safe while I'm here. Okay, okay, I didn't say anything. Let's see what he gave us. Come to daddy, darling. I don't remember where that came we from. Stepped into it, didn't we? Hmm. Okay. Of all that's furry, what kind of a list is this? Exactly. I have no idea, but I don't even want to find out. Those names, all top dogs. Maybe they play cards together. Sure, that's very likely. Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Mm. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. Thanks, Filmar. This could be important. Ah, uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, shut up, Marty. All right. I'm gonna ask him stuff. Let's see how that goes. The truth is... Ibn's a dirty bastard, but he's likable. It must be his charisma that snared Natasha. Maybe there's more to it than simple wild love. Hmm, who knows? Animals commit the dirtiest of deeds for wild love. Hmm, you've got a point. We stepped into it, didn't we? That's an understatement. All of these names... Belong to the upper crust. Yeah, I noticed. It's only some sex cult, if you're lucky. Hmm. Don't even go there, Marty. Yeah, all right. Well, I don't like that with the animals. Um, Wonderful that girl. makes me feel weird. Either I'm going to kill her or I'm beginning to like her. That's funny. I swear I've heard that before. Huh. To be honest, me too. So... Natasha invited us to her weekend house. That's either very good news or very bad news. 50%. That's not that bad, is it? That's an admirable attitude. Attitude, yeah, he's got that. Most of the time, I think that's all he's got. Hey! Who is this woman anyway? She's like Ibn Shadow. Nobody knows anything about her. I don't know if she has anything to do with the case, but... It's worth keeping an eye on her anyway. Uh, more women, more trouble. You already fantasizing. <sighs> Even the sight of young women make me tired. Anyway, most people say she's the rat's lover too. But next to Natasha, I doubt he'd want her. Anyway, the pussycat would have already torn her to shreds. Could be. All right. Creepy little squirrel girl. This is the life, huh? All right, so we've already heard that. We've looked at the stage. Remember we talked to Foxfella. 
with the turtle and the rabbit. Yeah, food. we did. Oh. All right, just make sure we've explored all options. Excuse we'll talk to the henchman. Now. My name is Santino Featherland. Eh? Gabriel, what do you want, chickens? Do you happen to know where Mr. Wessler went? Do you take me for a fool? Get out of here while I'm in a good mood, birds. Okay. Thanks, big boy. I thought we had talked to him already. I guess we hadn't. All right, so clues. I only recognized a few names on the list Filmar shoved into my hand, but all of them belong to respected elite of Clawville. Could be a wedding roster, but I doubt that's the case. Alright, with Natasha we've added the list with all those imposing names must have something to do with Natasha, and thus the threats too. Hmm. Sorry, I got distracted there for a second. There should be... Oh, 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 I missed you. Let's go back to Gabriel. Gabriel the Grinder Antipov. He's a lynx male, quiet and deadly. He's most likely from Stowonia. Okay. This bobcat is most likely Eben Wessler's goon. Natasha Kaczynska's weekend house. It stands in the cleanest and most separated quarter of the city in Flowerville. I'm curious what she's hiding there. All right. Well, we have added some stuff. We're going to talk to Olivia real quick just to see if anything else oh, pops you. up. How can I help you, gentlemen? Look, we really don't want to dig into your personal life, but... But what exactly is my relationship with Mr. Wessler? And how close am I to him? You don't beat around the bush, ma'am. Well, actually, I remember. I don't have time to chit-chat, Mr. Featherland. So, yes, I'm not one to beat around the bush. And no, I'm not sleeping with Mr. Wessler. <laughs> well, thanks for the uh, quick and straight answer. Anything else? Let's ask her stuff. Here we go. Do you come here often, Olivia? No, not really. Well, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. That was a you know, great dialogue as exchange. Just as you'd think. On the contrary, he's become very different recently. I heard. Don't you find oh. that weird? A sudden change of heart? Sometimes an animal just has enough. Fed up and wants a change. I deeply respect that. Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. What's your relationship with Miss Natasha Katsenko? We've talked a bit, that's all. There's no uh, tension between you? You know, the pretty secretary. Well, thank you for your compliment, Mr. Featherland. No, no tension. Natasha's an intelligent woman. I respect her. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. If I'm not mistaken, Natasha has a weekend house in Flowerville. Yeah, that's right. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never been there. Allegedly, it's beautiful. Elegant and luxurious. Just like Natasha herself. All right. Let's see what we've unlocked here. Should hold me on a Eben. Eben's currently busy with some kind of meat substitute business. That's what he and his assistant told us anyway. After the show, Eben left the Czar Club suspiciously fast. All right. All right, weekend house, hot dog, Clawville. Let's go back to Clawville PD. Know, Sonny, what exactly are we doing here? Let's hope we can learn something about Natasha and Ibn by sniffing around before we visit that weekend house in Flowerville. Learn something from Phyllis and Roy's? Well, I wasn't exactly thinking about them. Yeah, figures. It doesn't appear I can talk to him. There's bullet holes. That wasn't us, 
else, right? Not that one, Marty. Yeah, honestly, sometimes I find it difficult to keep track of all the places we wrecked during our ten years together. Just nine, Marty. Nine. Hmm. How's it going tonight, boys? Uneventful so far, Sonny. But now that you're rolling together again, I suppose we'll have some excitement to look forward to. What do you mean? Are you kidding? Last time you shot up a theater, and, if I remember correctly, each other. <laughs> that was a uh, complicated evening. I sure. <laughs> complicated. Alright, well that didn't open up anything. Let's go in here and see if anybody knew. Okay, Bosco's in a different spot, so let's see. Hey, big guy. Hey, Cox, what's up? Back here so soon? Did you get nostalgic all of a sudden, Sonny? I'd rather be anywhere else than here, Bosco. But we're sniffing around on a case. Ooh, ooh. Are you trespassing again? Who? Us? What are you thinking? Ah, uh, just an old case. Still open. Not official, but not active either. We're not bothering anyone. You know, old habits die hard. I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. So, how can I help you? All right. Let's see if Bosco can help with some stuff. Do you still remember, Philmar? Do you mean Philip? Of course I remember. He's got quite the reputation with that Philmar alias. We just met him. Small world, huh? Do you know what he's up to these days? Yeah, as far as I know, he's investigating petty blackmail cases and sneaking after poor bastards cheating on their wives. Anything else? Did he get mixed up in something that stirred up a storm recently? Yeah, I don't know about that. We haven't seen him at the PD for a while. He's usually a frequent visitor. Why? Did he run into some fishy business again? Possible, Bosco. But I'm not sure he'd want to make the same mistake. Wise decision. Listen, Bosco. What do you make of this list? Maybe it's the guest list of some fancy ball. These are some rather influential names, the ones I recognize anyway. Movie stars, politicians, a few names from the Council of Twelve even, if I'm not mistaken. You're not. Are you blackmailing them? Because if you are, I'll gladly accept a nice big juicy bone in exchange for my silence. Stop screwing around, Bosco. It has nothing to do with our case. Which is what, exactly? Mm, we're still not gonna tell you. Listen, Bosco, what have you heard about that singer, Natasha Katsenko? <laughs> you mean that little bimbo fooling around with Ibn Wessler? They say she's the jackpot, but I've never been into cats, you know. You couldn't be more racist if you tried, Bosco. <laughs> don't misunderstand me. I don't have a problem with cats at all. I'm simply allergic to them. I can't stand being around them. I don't even take cases with cats. Good for you. I should have used that excuse myself. Why? Is your investigation related to her? What? No, of course not. We, we just came from her show. That's why I asked. <laughs> and what's she like? Well, I guess your cat allergy would go away for the rest of your life if you met her. <laughs> really? Uh, maybe I'll have a go and see for myself one day. All right. I wonder if we can go in the office area. Uh, blood boils in there, and I don't want to run into him. I wholeheartedly agree, partner. Let's avoid right. the whole office section as much as possible. Well, I kind of figured that'd be the way that went, but I thought I would check just to be on the safe side. Let's make sure there is not any kind of new things added there. Look our codex. Council of Twelve. Although Clawville is a monarchy, the actual power and jurisdiction, aside from the king, are in the hands of the Council of Twelve. Or as most animals think, entirely, and the king himself is only a puppet and a symbol. The members of the council are the mightiest animals in the city after the king, empowering not only politicians, but influential businessmen as well. Alright. 
got some more uh, intrigue. So let's go back to our map. Before we go to the weekend house, let's go to the hot dog and see if anything's changed. Nice cup of coffee a la Zip, huh? We're not here for the coffee, Marty. Zip always knows more than what he lets on. It'd be worth interrogating the old trash panda. If he forgave us for wrecking his joint last year, I hope All we're right. right. Well, we've had that conversation. Let's try Everything speaking to him again. Right, old man? If there's... Well, uh... He's still not talking to us. God, jeez, boys. Out of 2,000 joints in the city, I had to end up here, huh? Hello to you, too, Zip. How's it hanging? I had no problems until now. Ah, oh, don't be such a drama queen. We just want to ask you a couple of questions, then we're out of here. And we won't even trash your place this time. What do you say? I say let's get it over with very, very quickly, chickens. Relax, pal. We'll be as fast as a hummingbird. I'm not your pal. And you're as far from a hummingbird as I'm from a polar bear. Oh, come on, Zip. Don't be so hard on yourself. I like the seagull guy. I really love the character design of this stuff. It kills me. I used to think a lot about what makes Zip's coffee so unique. And? I decided I didn't want to know. I totally understand you, Sonny. We all need a little mystery in our lives. I didn't mean that. I was afraid if I knew what was in it, I'd never want to drink it again. Oh. I see. That's a good point. All right, let's talk to the seagull. Damn it, what's the scribbler doing here? Sniffing some juicy story. I think I still owe him a great big left hook. Why did he do this time? Oh, nothing. Just since I first met him, I wanted to punch him in the face. I can understand that. Let's speak to Timothy. Hello, Timothy. Scribblers don't celebrate New Year's. Hello, boys. <laughs> what a pleasure to see you. Answering your question, no, not really. Not me, anyway. I'm always where the story is. Mm-hmm. And where's the story now? I can't see it anywhere. It just stepped through the door, pal. Oh, you mean us. Well, I think I'll have to disappoint you. The chicken police are back together? I, I can't let that go without an ink stain, am I right? No, Timmy, you can. We're not working. We're just having a little fun, that's all. Mm, I'm not buying that, boys. You'll have to, Tim. Eh, we'll see about that. Is that rag you work for still around, Tim? You mean the most read and highest-ranking newspaper of the city, the Clawville Chronicle? Oh, yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> I see that you still have your famous sense of humor, Sonny. Such a joy. <laughs> yeah, I do. So, how about you tell me what you're really doing here? Not a chance, Timbo. The truth is, we're already leaving. Sorry, pal. Maybe next time. All right, so I feel like that is an invitation for us to leave or a suggestion for us to leave. Excuse me. I'm super tired this morning for some reason. Um, but I feel like that's a reason for us to leave because they told us to leave. So we're just going to do that. Uh, Timothy Saltwater, he's a seagull. Loud, annoying, and overly enthusiastic. And unfortunately, he's the number one fan of the chicken police. Scribbler Tim, real name Timothy Saltwater. He's a douchebag and a real nosy B-word and an annoying little poop. But still, I have to admit, he is the best investigative reporter in Clawville. Back in the day, he had a big part in the chicken police becoming what they were for a long time. Real star cops. Right. Well. I guess it's time to go to the weekend house. Well, See how if there's that goes. one thing I'd learned during 20 years of detective work, it's that if someone wants to meet you at a remote location at night, you should bring an army for backup. One time, me and Marty were stupid enough to underestimate a situation like that, and we never really recovered. And yet, here we were again, about to step alone into something 
hauntingly familiar. Only one tactic remained, as the old dogs say. I like the serious look. Balls to the wall. I really like the serious look. Uh, this place gives me the creeps. I wouldn't say I like it either. Let's take a look around before we go inside. Textbook. I'm telling you, it's a trap. Shut up, Marty. All right, guys, I think before we do any kind of investigative here, we're going to go ahead and cut this off. I want to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, give us a like. Consider subscribing. Again, my name's Corey with Skinny Fat Duck. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.